Hi, Dan from Four Oaks Family Homestead. I'm just here to give a quick little update for what we're doing here. Um, I've put the side plywood on our cabinets here. And these were all just chipboard purchased from uh, Lowe's on the sides here. So we got that um, stained. Lindsay likes um, a specific kind of color, so we ended up staining them one time and then we stained them again <laughs> and then we stained them again so we have three colors of stains on these cabinets so each time that I add a little piece to it I get to stain it three times excellent but actually they look really good and there's them hey Ryan and Oki and there's them against the the floor there it look it matches very well so we got this side on here which is the, the full you know ceiling to floor side of our pantry oh, there's our little nice bright light this side which is next to the um the counter where the sink is and then under the microwave this corner here and that corner there plus the same thing up on there we go come on turn around there we go up in here as well so this part same thing on this side, up in here, and <laughs> last part was over here on this side of the refrigerator. So I got that end capped off. It looks really good. Matches everything else. So uh, actually, the stain that was just a piece of quarter-inch oak plywood. Oak plywood costs a lot nowadays. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so I, I've done that, and I got these shelves up. These are on, <laughs> got it, like 200 pound brackets. So, uh, I wish I would have a problem in it. Uh, they're kind of where they, you pull it against the back and it snaps in there. It's like a, um, like a wing nut, but like a permanent wing nut. So it's really kind of neat. Um, they're supposed to hold up a lot of weight. So I got three sets of brackets over here, short ones, and these are um, bigger ones, you can fit a little bit more dishes up there. It'll look good once we have the tile up there, uh, which is, by the way, the project I'm working on today. So, tile next. So I'll give a little bit of um, stop motion on that one. Hopefully it'll uh, come out pretty nice. We're using um, some 3x6 subway tile, so it's a little bit bigger than some other stuff. But, like most places, our house is not square. So finding where you want to <laughs> give the grout lines a little bit extra because um, we have about a quarter of an inch we need to get rid of between the whole bottom over there and the very top of the ceiling which is where these tiles are going to. So we'll figure out where we're gonna um, do it, whether we're just going to cut the tiles on the very top or if we're going to um, just make grout lines longer on one side, you know, staggering it to where the very top of it, it will um, be even. So, all right, so a quick update. Uh, here I am outside with a tile cutter. I got the trim up around the window, so I'm ready to start uh, tiling. Cut the first two little uh, pieces that go around the outlets. So one was a straight half cut, and the other one had a cool little notch in it. It's a little U. I'll show you that in, inside here in just a minute. All right, so that's what I'm looking at there. There's my uh, little cut, my cut for above the, or I should say under the outlet, and then just the first row. So I think I'm uh, good to go all the way up into the first set of brackets. I'm um, just mortar the entire stretch, get these guys in there all the way to the other outlet here. So I'll pause at that point, recut the next, um, whether it be a U or two edge pieces, and move on from there. And here I am tiling the first couple of rows here um, in the morning. Um, later on, there's a couple of spots where I pull the tiles off and fix them around the outlets. I incorrectly put the tile on up around the covered outlets instead of pulling the cover off and bringing the outlet out about the quarter inch the tiles are. So I fix those a little bit later on. Uh, this is the first two rows it was really straight nothing much going on i went ahead and um, mortared the walls 
later on as I'm doing this, so I started mortaring the tiles because there were so many little cuts that I had to make. The um, mortar started drying on the walls before I was able to get the different pieces on. So. Hi, this is Dan with <laughs> Fire Oaks Family Homestead. Get back in the shop. <laughs> Uh, it's another beautiful Saturday morning here in Oklahoma. It's about 50 degrees, sunny, windy, and we got a lot to do today. So yes. I've been working inside since about 8 this morning, uh, working on the tile on the walls. 8.17, sorry. I looked at the clock. It was about <laughs> 8 o'clock. It was about 8 o'clock! <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Lindsay is um, going to be doing some work, uh, finishing the painting of our few do doors. We have one and a half sides of doors to paint yet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do. I have one and a half sides doors. Door okay. sides. <clears throat> so, got that going. Uh, I hope to get done with uh, the east facing wall um, this morning and maybe move on to the west facing wall in the kitchen. Uh, the side that's on the oven, honey. <laughs> 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 And then, um, he's doing good this morning. I am doing really good. <laughs> and so, I just got much to do. It's getting later in the year now. It's uh, it's almost November. Today is October 31st. Mm -hmm. And man, I was hoping to get done about a month ago. I think we thought we would be done in like, yeah, September, September. but no. it's not September not. anymore. Yeah. It's hardly even October anymore. So I'm trying to just knock this into like a thousandth gear and uh, get some stuff done. Um, thousandth gear? So thousandth gear. It goes really fast here in thousandth gear. I have, well, yeah. Is that like a time lapse? Um, yeah, actually. I know. This it, is ready. I'll send me on a time lapse later on going in thousandth gear. So um, <laughs> that's where we're at today. Um, much to do. Ugh. We want to get it done. We definitely, definitely want to get our kitchen completely completed by Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a dead set goal that will not happen, but we did have a whole bunch of branches come down with that ice storm this last week. So a lot of cleanup. I did some of it uh, last night at a really late, kind of like um, sunset. It was kind of cool. I'm driving around the little lawn tractor, towing lights on. Um, branches around with my lights on in the, in the dark. So. <laughs> But um, we got that going. We did some pumpkin carving last night, which is kind of cool. Had a candy overload. We had a candy overload. So that's kind of what we do is, uh, like, when we do our pumpkin carving, we just sit down, carve pumpkins. In this case, yeah, only one kid carved pumpkins this year. Um, and, yeah, the other one just colored it. Um, and Lindsay didn't want to do anything with her pumpkins. I did get her two little ones. Usually she does some artwork that on them. That one's yours. No, there were, I bought two for you and none for me because I didn't want to do anything either. <laughs> I knew I'd have lots to do <laughs> still, so I bought two pumpkins for you to decorate with. And, and I, they are decorating. And they are and they're decorating. And I, I sat on the couch, watched movies with uh, the family, <laughs> and just didn't do anything last night. Well, I take it back. I do a couple of tile cuts just so I'd be ready to start this morning. Um, I have some mortar sitting on the counter right now, slowly drawing. So I gotta wrap this up and get back to work. Yeah, I need to go make beds and start some laundry and then I'll start painting doors. Yeah. Is it too it. windy to paint? Uh, I think it's okay up here. I wouldn't have it down on the lawn because you may have leaves falling in it, but I think it's okay up here since there's not a whole lot of bugs today. A little bit cooler than it has been, yeah, so true. fewer things flying around. We should have wasps though. It will get sunny. And then you like the deck. I don't, we need to find out where that, they're coming from. Yellow jackets under our yeah, uh, ramp jacket. over there. So we'll uh, <sighs> rip that thing out and be in for surprise, I'm sure. So we'll get to that sometime. Maybe we should do that in the winter when they're yes, sleeping. We should definitely do that in the winter while they're sleeping. We don't want that. That's bad. Situation. I already found one big old yellow jacket nest. And uh, thankfully, I was not stung by them, but I was uh, mowing and ran over this huge. I looked down, I was like, oh my goodness. I stopped the um, the mowing blades and just floored it and got out of there as fast as I could. I was like, whoa. Uh, I didn't tell my uh, oldest because he runs back there every now and again. He's very, very scared of wasps and uh, he's bees. He's been stung and, a lot. Yeah, he's been stung so many times. Time, it was, so, how many times did he get stung? It was like seven or eight times at that time. It, it was, was cool quite a day. few. So, he's so like, ever since then, he's like, uh uh. Yeah, might as well stay away. I mean, I'm not a fan of him either, to tell you the truth. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, we'll keep you updated. Um, mm -hmm. Take a look at what we're doing here. Yeah. Uh, continuing on the kitchen tiling project, I'm going to give you a little. Uh, 
look see what we're doing here. Here's the tile saw. Here's one of the cuts I need to make. It goes around one of the brackets that we're um, tiling around in the kitchen. So take a look here. We'll get her uh, going here. This part of the tiling took so long. It seems like every single piece I had to cut a big, huge notch out of it. And then I would almost every time go uh, take the tiles up, cut them, bring them inside, find out they're the wrong side, go back outside, cut them, bring them back inside, go back outside, find out they're the, <laughs> the wrong size again. And so I did this many times, but um, it looks really good, I think, after all the extra cuts that we've done it, uh, went together pretty well. It did take the entire day for me to tile this side of the house. So I was hoping to get to the other side as well, but that did not happen at all. Here I am measuring the little notches I have to cut out of these things over and over again. And during this time, Lindsay's outside um, painting the doors, both the two interior doors and um, she's working on the hardware for the exterior door and we got that up later in the day as well that took a lot longer than I thought to hang the doorknob up <laughs> it's kind of weird here is where I forgot how far I was supposed to bring the tile on the side of the wall and then brought it back and straight from the counter up to the first sh shelf so I just got that one finished there and then continued tiling up over the last shelf to the ceiling by this time I was getting tired of tiling this day but I wanted to get it done <laughs> the boxes of subway tiles that we had um, they have like a little like two pieces of glue on the front of them so every single one of these things has a little chunk of glue. I think it's to keep them from um, getting hurt or bashed in transit. But I just scraped that off of every single little subway tile. So um, in addition to all of the cutting here, I had to do all the glue scraping. And it just seemed like it took a lot longer than I thought it would. In the past, I've always used... Um, those sheets of tiles that uh, are glass mosaics. And here at the end here, I just uh, stopped the stop motion and took pictures as I was finishing up. There's me finishing the last row up over the window. Here's the full row and here is it in its entirety. And now Lindsay's gonna give you an update what she was doing. Okay, so I have my paint clothes on because I am the world's messiest painter. Like. It's not even funny how bad at painting, like keeping it off my hands and my hair and my clothes I am. But so I'm going to be painting. I'm kind of excited about this. I hope it works. We'll see. I'm going to be spray painting this um, new door handle and locked it up and everything. We wanted to change out um, what we had um, just because it's a new house and all that kind of stuff. And I wanted something black. And I didn't want to pay the price for a black one. And this one was on clearance for $28. Um, thank you, lady at Lowe's, who pointed this out to us, that it was on clearance. So I was very thankful. But um, so I'm going to spray paint this black. And hopefully it works and looks nice and has no issues. Because I don't want to spend a hundred and whatever dollars on a black one. So here we go.
Yeah. All right, getting ready to paint this really yellow door again. Some people might like the yellow. I don't actually mind yellow, but um, it's just not my style. So I'm going to paint that. I'm going to paint it with this color that I've used um, on a few things, but like I just kind of wanted to use what we had. And so I had, it was between this and one other color. And so I've decided to go this color. The, the light is bad, so you can't really tell, but it's actually really pretty. Okay, I'm painting the door. I kind of have just like a rough coat along. I was trying to get inside, but um, now I'm putting on a thicker coat. So, uh, so far, I think it's going to look really nice. And it, look, it looks horrible right now. I mean, that looks crazy. Okay, so the door is done. Well, painted anyway. Um, it took about two coats and then a couple touch-ups here and there. But I was able to get it done. Um, Dan and the boys are off. They went and got a rototiller. So when he gets back, I'll have him help me put on the actual locks and, you know, handle and all that stuff. But I think it turned out well. Okay, getting ready to paint um, the side of the door. I already painted this door. Um, and then we had some water come into our garage, which was a horrible. It was horrible. But so I'm going to paint this and then I'll check the other side and see what it looks like. Um, these are our inside doors, and I am painting them. Oh, it doesn't say. <laughs> I think it's called, um, oh, here it is. What does it say? Fashion Gray. Um, it was kind of one of those times where I was like, I wonder what it would be like to have gray doors instead of white doors. And I found a gray that I liked and actually am loving it right now. Okay, so I'm starting our last door and I was taking off the sticky, you know, the label and it did not want to come off. So it's really sticky and it's hard to get off. So something that I use to get off this stuff is like a lemon essential oil. I think lime works better, um, but I'm out of lime. So I'm going to put some lemon on here and let it sit and then I'll be able to scrape it off. Hopefully let's get it all smooth beforehand. Paint. Oh, Wendy. Plus, it smells really good. So it's been just a few, you know, moments, and see how much easier it just comes off. Um, it's kind of a nice thing because I'm horrible at getting labels off of anything. <laughs> oh my, you're scary. Okay, so the doors are done. Um, it's, they've actually been out here for a while. They fell down once because it was so windy. Um, it down? yeah, that one fell down and I was touched up. Um, so I need to put them away because Dan won't be able to put them on tonight. And, um, and then I also, oh, I also touched up our door because there was some scratches when we put on the handles. <sighs> Spray painting the handles did not work like I was hoping. It's coming off in several places already, and it was kind of a weird day. So I don't know if maybe we just like let it dry for a long time in between, but we actually had to get our handles back on. It was getting like, it was kind of dirty. But anyways, so it did not work the way that I was wanting it to. Oh, there's my husband. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right, what would you like to say? So during the freeze, this, like, on the bottom of it had a layer of ice, and I picked it up, and it was like, like a layer, like a circle of ice, and I picked it up, and, and I was throwing it. Like, <laughs> you were throwing it? Trees, yeah. Oh, yeah. Up against our poor trees. Oh, look at the sun. It's a beautiful day, actually, in Oklahoma. Our homie is still out. We have not put it away because the ice storm came, and we just didn't get to it that night, the day that I cleaned it, so it's still here needing to be put away we but need to get away. meaning like it's not going to stay here it's going to go over to a different area that's actually covered in branches so we need to clean that area up first and then we'll move our homie <laughs>